Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's session. Today we will go for MX lock. First thing, what is lock? In the syllabus, you need to know both of this, which is called logarithmic and exponential function. LOG, you can see it from your calculator here. We can usually replace it with LG. LG is actually means log to the base of 10. So log in the base of 10, we will write in LG as a short form. For LN, is actually the short form for log base E. It's a natural log. This is the two log situation that we can use calculator to account. But of course, as MS student, you see more different log situation, which you can see log base A, let's say it's to 7, log base A, B, C to 8. Okay, So this thing, they can change to different, different log. So that's why we need to know a few different relationships about log so you can solve the log. Other than this, in function part 2, we also learn how to draw long graph. There's an asymptotes here, which means that long graph, this baby, the value must be more than zero. So when we do the log chapter, we always need to remember, no matter it's log base what, this part, the baby part, the value must be more than zero. If at last you get the answers is x equals to minus 3 and x equals to 2, you must reject minus 3 because the baby must more than 0. This is the thing that we already learned under function. Okay, so for this whole chapter, we need to know how to use our log to solve our unknown situation because we have calculator, we have LN and LOG, so we can use it to help us. After this, we need to know the rules for log. First, how to remove log. For example, if we have log base A to 16 equals to 2, we can remove the log by showing the base to another side. We can show our base to another side, and then anything initially on another side will go up. So we'll become 16 equals to A power 2. Then from here, we know A equals to 4. Second rule is power rule. Power rule means the power that belongs to here, you can put it to the front. Can you see? R that is at the power of the baby can show to the front and times. So this is the power rule. Next, we know that plus and minus two or three log have the same base. Then you can join them together. Can you see? Log base B, log base B. If in between is a plus, then you can join the baby as a times relationship into one log only. Here also log base B, log base B. So you can join your X and Y by combining them together. Three, we can change the base. Let's say it's base in A, but we'll change it to base B. So first step, up, down, also you'll write the same base that you want to change it to. And then the big value we'll put up. The base that's small, small here, we'll put down. So this is how we change the base. And some students ask me if this thing they want to change base to log base x, x, a, then they also see one formula called this. Actually, no need to memorize this formula because as long as the base and the number here is exactly the same, then we can convert it to one. So by knowing this logic, we can also use it to add log into number. For example, you have 2 plus LG2 equals to LG A. Then if you want to make everything have LG, means that this two, we need to add LG also. But which LG we can add so that it won't affect the value? LG 10, because LG is log base 10. Log base 10, 10 is actually one. So we can add thing that have the same base, then it will make everything have the same log base. For example, if you have log base A, so you want to add log base A, then here also you add log base A A. You can also do this. First part, this type of question possible to appear in maths and MS also. But of course, in maths, you can do it using try and error method, but also you can apply log to directly get answers. For example, here you have unknown as a power, so we can directly apply log on both sides. If you don't like to use log base 10, you want to use LN, you can, you get the same answer. After we log both sides, we can directly apply power rule. This thing can put down. When the whole equation no more power, then we can fill it easily. 
gene calculator, you get answer is 1.19. Okay. Next, solve the following equations giving your answers to three significant figures. So both sides also have power unknown. We just lock both sides. Then the power control front. This is the power rule. Then we can combine all x part together. Throw this down. Just key in calculator. You get negative 8.32. Immediately, we can go to second technique, which is remove lock. Here, I have lock base 6, so we can throw the base to another side. Anything here, it can go up. So this question requires you to write in exact form. Then, Next question, LG means lock base 10. So this 10 we throw to here, and then 0 throw up. So x-ray, anything power 0 is 1. So it's plus minus two. Okay, next technique, we go to power rule. Whenever you have power here, you can swap to this position. So these two positions can interchange. For example, here, they ask you to find the value of A. We can remove lock. But remember, before you do remove lock, you need to ensure nothing in front. If there is any number in front, you can't remove lock first. So that's why you must change this to up first. Then only you can show base to another side and then this thing go up. 8 squared is 64. 64 equals to A power 3 over 2. So A equals to 64 power 2 over 3. 16. Next, by using the substitution of Y equals to log base 3X, then we can solve this. Log 3X is Y. Log 3X is Y. This power 5 is very extra. We must throw it to the front first. So become 5y. Many students directly write y power 5, which is wrong. If this holding power 5, then yes, this is y power 5. But this power 5 only belongs to x. That's why you need to throw it down first. And then here is just log base 3 power 9. 9 is actually 3 power 2. This 2 you can throw down also. Then log base 3, 3 is actually just 1. So whenever the base and the number is the same thing, then you can remove it. Then you can solve the quadratic by using this way. y equals to 1 over 3, y equals to minus 2. y is log base 3x. x is 3 power 1 over 3. x equals to 3 power minus 2. You cannot leave your answers here because the question asks for the values. So values, your final answer must be in decimal. So 1.44, this you can write in 1 over 9. So ensure that the value is clear, not in 3 power 1 over 3. Next type of question is power rule also, but involves simultaneous equation. Here, we can directly show this here. Here, both sides also have log base 3 and 1 term 1 term, so we can remove the log base 3 as long as in front of your log base 3 do not have any number. So that's why make sure these two, you can throw it up first. Then you can cut your log base 3. From here, you can sub y equals to 9 minus x. We sub 1 into 2. Then you know y is 14 or 7. Remember to check subs in x equals to 2 and minus 5. Minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4. Log graph always more than zero means that the baby must be more than zero. So the baby is minus four means that this thing cannot happen. X is two, two plus one is three, positive three, so okay. And then here Y is seven, Y plus two is nine, is also a positive value. So this set is okay. This set must reject, if not get minus one mark. Next, we go to combine the log together if it's a plus minus situation. So this question, we have LG, LG, all log base 10, and then it's a minus relationship. So as long as we make these also have log base 10, then we can join them together. LG x power 3. Here we put LG 10. This thing also can put up. Then we can join them into single log base 10. Everything that in front is a positive, you put up. X power 3, you put up. Negative, put down. So 4 power half is just 2. We plus LG 100. So plus will change to time, 10 squared. So at last, it's the same. 
LG 50X Tower 3. Okay, solve the equation of this and give your answer in exact form. Both also in ln form is a plus minus, so we can combine them into single log. Minus means divide. Ln means log base E. So E we show here, and then this thing go up. We want to make U as a subject, so we group all the U together. Just like this. Next question, we need to solve them. So we need to combine because both also log base 9. So we show our 2 up first, then we can combine. y squared over 4y minus 9 equals to half. Then we can show the base here, power throw up. Just like this. The next question is a simultaneous equation question. Even though I write it under plus minus combo situation, but can you see to solve this simultaneous equation, it's easier that we directly make our log base 2x or log base 2y as a subject, then only we continue to do. I make my log base 2x as a subject, then I can subtract into equation number 2. To remove the denominator of 3, everything I times 3. And here we expand. This thing we can change back to 2 power 6. Then we know this minus 2 times 6. Log base 2x is 4. So x equals to 2 power 4. So it's 16. Okay, next, they give us this information and then ask us to change it to P and Q. It is a single log base A that have A, X, Y squared all in times relationship. So we can do the split thing reversely. Previously, we know the same log that plus minus, you can join them into single log. So here we just split it back. Log A, Y squared, you can directly show the two in front. Log A, A, same base, same number, it's just one. Log A, X is P. Log A, Y is Q. Then next is this. So anything at the bottom is minus relationship. Here is three. Log base A, X is P. Minus one, minus Q. Then Next, we go to the change base type question. We have two types. Base is unknown, base is number. So we focus on the base is number question, which also the easier part. Here we have log base 3 and log base 9. When you have different number, we usually change them to the smaller number. We change everything into log base 3. Here we change to log base 3, log base 3. As up, 9 down. Here is 3 power 2, so it's just 2. Cut, cut. Both also log base 3, then we can join them together. Plus, we'll join them as times rs is 3 power 8 in calculator you get the answer is 6561 done next change base that is in number so here is log base 3 log base 81 we change everything in log base 3 81 is actually 3 power 4 here become 1 so the 4 we can put in front then the 4 and 12 can simplify to become 3 we do not need to times them together combining to one. We just remain it in log base three. I make log base three as my subject. This from equation one, we subs into equation two. This also I change to log base three. Nine is three power two. Here you can cut. These two I bring front. Here is just one, two, and four. We can simplify. So become two log three x plus. 5 minus log base 3x power 8 equals to 2. You can combine the log base 3 first. Plus 5 will become minus 5. This 3 I can show here. This minus 3 can show up. x equals to 3 power minus 3 over minus 6. So it's square root of 3. After we get x is square root 3, we can sub in here. 3 power half. So this half I can show to the front. This log base 3, 3 is just 1. 5 minus 4 is 1, 1 over 3. Then show this. y equals to 3 power 1 over 3. So answer in exact form.
Next, write this and this plus this as a single log base tree. So everything changed to log base tree. These two are the same, we can cut, cut. Then, same base, we can combine them just like this. Next, go and see some situation that when base is an unknown, the first question is considered easier type. They ask us to change log base A, log base A, log base A. 3A put up, the small one we put down. Log base A, 3A times half. They request you to write in single log to base A. It means that they also don't want anything in front. This half belongs to everything of the baby. Remember to put this bracket. Then we go to the soft type question. Soft type question when you see the base is an unknown, you need to solve as quadratic. Means that confirm you will see something that is power 2. How it will show? Let's see. We have base 7 and base x. We change everything to the easier base, which is base 7. After you change the base, then you found that you have one denominator. How you remove denominator when everything times this, then you can remove the denominator. This thing times this will become this whole thing square plus this time this cut cut each other so we can remove the denominator. So can you see, we can treat this as y. So you can let y equals to log 7x. If you can directly do without this let situation, then you can directly go ahead. So it's just one. Then you can solve it y equals to 2 or y equals to 1. y is log 7x. So x is 7 power 2, 49. x is 7. Done. Next, we need to solve this base unknown. So we change everything to base number. Log base 4, log base 4. We remove the denominator by everything times log base 4, 8. Here, cut, cut. Log 4, 4 is just 1. So here left 2. Log base 4a times log base 4a will become this power 2. Minus 5, log base 4a. Then we can solve it by let this thing equals to x. Throw everything to the right. The question wants you to write in exact form, not asking you for the value, so you can remain your answer just like this. Okay, next we change everything to log base 3. This is just 1, 2 divided by 1 over log base 3 y. Then I throw all my log base 3 to left. So these two I can throw up. Then I can combine my log base 3. Then I remove the base. Because it's a log question, we always need to check 7 over 3 is a positive. So we sub in here or we sub in here after we change log base 3. Both also positive, so this one okay. But this negative 2, even though we put here, is okay. But if we put here, will be log base 3 minus 2. Max error. So we need to reject this. So our final answer only 7 over 3. Okay, that's all for log chapter. So I hope you enjoy this session. Hope you learned something. If you have any question, you can always comment here. And remember to subscribe, like, and share my video. Thank you and see you in the next class. Bye-bye.